Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to change the oil and filter and check the mesh filter in my Ducati 2004 Multi Strata. Such a beautiful warm day outside. Going to go for a quick blast around the block, warm up the engine oil, and I think I'm going to do uh, the oil change out the front of the workshop. Don't forget, end of the video, I'll have all the technical specs up there that you'll need. It's better outside in the sun. Uh, put this carpet down just to stop uh, any drips of oil getting into my concrete. It's a bit of a messy job, so uh, anyway, the carpet should soak up uh, any oil that spills out of the uh, bucket. Anyway, simple job. Let's see the tools we're going to need to get it done. You're going to need a 10mm and 14mm hex socket, a filter wrench, a torque wrench, a filter and oil, something to put the uh, waste oil in, and some rags to clean up. It's kind of a messy job. First thing to do, get your 10mm hex socket and crack that sump plug. You might need a, a breaker bar or a persuader just to crack it, but uh, you know, either way, undo that. Make sure your bucket's there ready to start catching oil. Don't drop your sump plug into the uh, bucket. It's got a magnet on it, and you'll want to check that magnet out for any bits of metal, any bits of foreign material. And it can give you a good indication of uh, what might be wearing, what, whether you've got any problems in the engine. Put your sump plug to one side and grab your filter wrench. Crack your filter off and of course you're just throwing that away. So if you want to inspect your uh, mesh filter and the workshop manual suggests you check it every couple of uh, oil changes. You'll need your 14mm socket and you'll crack the outside cap first and then use the same 14mm socket to uh, put it in there and just crack and take out the uh, the mesh filter. Once your mesh filter's out, you want to have an inspection of that. Again, make sure this, it'll only trap big pieces, so if it's got big pieces trapped in it, take a photo or something, because uh, you want to show that to a mechanic and be a bit concerned. Anyway, this one's looking in good shape, so that's all good. Clean it up a bit and put it back in. Torque settings. I'll put all the torque settings at the end of the video. 42 newton meters anyway. For all three of these. Once you've got as much oil out as you can, time to put everything back on the bike. Sump plug. Filter. And of course your mesh filter. Like with any oil filter you want to uh, put a bit of oil around the rubber seal of your filter before you put it on. I've pre-primed my filter which I recommend you do so that uh, as soon as you start up uh, the motor's not filling up. The oil pump's not having to fill up the uh, oil filter before it starts circulating so it circulates it pretty well immediately you want to nip the filter up to hand tight and that's it just the firm hand tight is enough for the filter anyway put everything back on and start putting oil in your motor the manual says 3.9 litres in the multi strata. I'm going to put in about three and a half first and then start the motor and uh, you can see here where the uh, 
oil level starts to drop in the sight glass uh, as it starts to circulate around. So I'll start the motor and of course you want the oil light to go off very quickly. Uh, it shows that uh, you've, got the, you've got oil pressure. You might have to turn the motor on and off and top it up a little bit more, a little bit more a few times until you get it to the, uh, between the two lines. I prefer to get it closer to the top line. Especially being water cooled, I figure a little bit more oil in there will help keep it cool. So, torque everything up. And you're done. Bonus tip for this video. You've got oily, dirty, greasy hands. You can clean up in your laundry. Don't let the missus catch you though. Let's get a bit of washing powder. You don't need much. Good mate of mine, Yoss, taught me this trick a long time ago. I've never forgotten it. Takes all that grease off your hands. Well, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Go for a 10 minute ride. Come back, check everything. Just so it can blow all the any air out. And get the system cycling properly. If you like this video, hit the old subscribe button, like, whatever. Have a look at us on Facebook too. We've got a pretty active riding group there. And uh, we try to have fun. But uh, anyway, catch you next time. Safe riding.